Hi there, Aries. Welcome back. All right, guys. What is this? Okay. This is going to be for Aries. So if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this is for you. This is going to be for Aries dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. This could be anybody in your life. Do take what resonates with you. Leave the rest for somebody else. Remember that this is a general reading. Spirit, can you get some information for Aries dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio? We have the Temperance card coming out first. Five of Pentacles coming out second. Somebody's feeling left out. But they're happy about it. <laughs> this could be your energy. But somebody feels like they're being left out. And they're happy about it. They feel a, a level of calmness. Somebody's happy that they could do things their own way here. Somebody's definitely planning for their future here. Always put the, put the energy where it belongs. Somebody's happy here. Somebody's looking forward to the next chapter. Somebody's like ready to let go of the past, move forward. Somebody's thinking that you're very sweet, Aries. Somebody thinks that you're very sweet. This person thinks you're very sweet. Somebody is like looking out and they're realizing that something's coming around the corner. They don't know what it is, but they're they're like anticipating something. This person thinks that you're sweet, and this person is thinking about you. You have a water sign who's thinking about you. It looks like this person is expecting something to happen in the future. Like they see something coming. They know something's coming. Something that might cause them to go through some kind of hardship. But it looks like this person's getting, despite what they're feeling, this person's getting ready to get up and do something. Okay, so this person could be coming towards you. It might be because of a, a misunderstanding. Okay, like this person feels like something happened. They feel rejected. You know, there was some kind of misunderstanding. Uh, this person is feeling like maybe they misunderstood you or you misunderstood them. You know, something like that, right? Hmm. This person might want to come to you and they are trying to get the courage to confess something. Somebody here has been uh, possibly ignoring some red flags. In their own life. Might have something to do with money. Okay. So somebody has been. Uh, ignoring some red flags. Might have something to do with their work. Their money. Okay. Their income. Tell me more about the six of swords spirit. Let's find out more about the six of swords here. This person would like to come towards you. Unfortunately, at this time, this, this person's broke. This person's going through financial hardships. Okay? This person is not happy with the situation that they're in. They're finding themselves in a pretty bad situation. Uh, it looks like this person might have to do things kind of unconventional to get money. So this person is like... um. They want to find some kind of state, uh, financial stability before they come towards you. That's what I'm hearing. But they're doing something that's unconventional. So unconventional could be all kinds of things. It doesn't necessarily have to be something illegal, okay? Um, maybe they have an online store. Maybe they have, um, you know, a YouTube channel. Something that's unconventional. Maybe they own stocks, right? Something like that. This person is doing something that, you know, it's just not mainstream, okay? But they're definitely getting ready to break all the rules because this person wants to come towards you.
This person has a rebellious streak in them. So this person is like having to step away from a traditional, something that is traditional. I don't understand that, but they're breaking away from something that's traditional to have a new beginning. This person might, okay, so this person might be in the process of leaving somebody behind, leaving their home behind. Okay, so this person might be in the process of leaving a relationship behind, their family behind, to be able to be able to come towards you, right? In order for them to move forward. It's like, it's making them feel pretty it, it, it's it's drawing from them it's drawing it's uh it's draining their energy so it mean this person is like it makes me feel like this person is feeling like they're taking a huge chance by doing this because they know that you're not going to sleep with them they know that you're not going to, you might not even talk to them. Like if they come knocking on your door, you might not even talk to them. Like you might shut the door in their face. Because you're not talking to this person at this time. And this person knows it. Okay, so the, this person acknowledges that they're going to have to do something more in order to get you to do something with them okay uh you know be intimate with them they know that they're gonna have to do something more they know that they're gonna have to wait until a door opens yeah that's what it is this person's very much aware that they're gonna have to wait until a door opens like they're waiting for an opportunity here to take be able to take control right and this person definitely knows that they have to leave something behind they're gonna have to leave Possibly a person, a home, okay? This is like a person, a home. That's what I'm getting. Like they're going to have to leave somebody behind in order to be able to come towards you. That's why that's coming out that way, okay? And it has something to do with money. Like this person knows that they can't come towards you without money. Like they need to have some kind of stability in their life. This is what they're aiming for. They're trying to become the king of pentacles, right? This person wants to be able to make that money, be a boss. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. All right, let's go ahead and dig deeper into that. Spirit, tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles, please. Let's find out more about that. Uh, Aries, this person is definitely watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. They're trying to figure out what's going on with you. We have the High Priestess in reverse. I feel like you don't know about this. This is like a secret. We have the seven of swords and then and then the nine of coins coming out. Okay. So this person is like uh this person is kind of like used to using deception to get their way. This person is used to using deception to be able to intimidate other people or not maybe not intimidate but manipulate manipulate that's the word they're used to using manipulation to get their way this is something that they are very used to this is why this person is watching you they're trying to figure things out they're they're trying it's like they're trying to be deceptive Okay, so this person is going to come towards you with that deceptive energy. This Seven of Swords is coming out. It makes me feel like you're going to reject this person. So this person wants to come towards you very manipulative because they're hoping that you won't listen to your, your intuition. Yeah. So be cautious because I feel like this person does have some hidden motives here, okay? There's some secrets here that this person is, like, holding back. They don't want something to come out, okay? There's, there's some kind of truth about money, about income, 
or their stability that they don't want you to know about. And I, it might also be about a privileged woman, okay? It might also be about a partner that they're in a connection with. They don't want you to be to know about something that's going on, okay? Like they don't want you to know about somebody. Let me see what other card comes out. We have the five of coins coming out with the ten of coins. Ooh, so they don't want you to find out about money. They don't want you to know about them being rejected by a family, about a, a large sum of money. They don't want you to know about a large sum of money. This could be the loss of money or money coming in. This is what they're de being deceptive about. About them being left out in the cold, possibly in a will. So this privileged woman has left this person out of their will. This water sign is no longer a part of that person's will. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to pull from the bottom of the deck because something's telling me to pull from the bottom of the deck. They were once part of that person's will. Okay, so this water sign was actually part of that person's will. But that privileged woman, okay, that's what I'm getting. A privileged woman could be a privileged man. Um, they that per, That partner has cut them out of their will, completely cut them out. They don't want you to know they're broke. <gasps> oh, so they're in a relationship and that person has cut them out. Like they're no longer part of a will. They're no longer part of, um, it could be a, it, it's a will. It's a, I'm trying to think what else it could be. It's a large sum of money, a business. Like they don't have any family support anymore like they used to. Let me use these cards. But this person is like taking a risk here. Okay. Like they feel like they're taking a risk here. Or they're going to try to make it seem like they're taking a risk by coming towards you, Aries. So what is this person planning to do here? Tell me more about this five of pentacles and the fool. That's what I want to find out. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles and the Fool, the Six of Cups. Okay, so this person is planning to um, use children, you know, like against you to manipulate you. Or if this is not children, this is about the past. Like they're going to bring up the past, right? Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Let's find out more. The Devil card. Yeah, it's like what I'm telling you. This person is going to use manipulation. You you have children with this person. More likely you have children or you have a long history. I'm talking about a long history with this person. This is somebody from way back when. I mean, like you've known each other. You probably even, you know, said that this person was your soulmate at one time or they told you 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 know, that you were their soulmate at one time without realizing that there was a lot of toxicity around this connection, okay? Well, with the Five of Pentacles and the Fool card, it's like this person is planning to do something because they know that they're in the doghouse, okay? And this person doesn't want you to know that they're in the doghouse, okay? They're struggling, they're struggling. They're in the doghouse. That partner that they're in a connection with has kicked them out. That's exactly what it is, guys, right here. So they're feeling desperate at this time. Okay, so they're like, they're, they're, they're in this uh, energy of wanting to act like they're innocent, but they're not innocent. Okay, they're going to try to make it seem like they're innocent. Uh, you know, they they didn't know what was going on. They they don't know why that person's mad at them. That 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 third party 
might have kicked them out of the house for cheating. For cheating. Yes, that's what I'm getting. But see, they're not going to let you know that. They don't want you to know that. So this person wants to, they want to manifest a new romantic connection or reestablish a new romantic connection with you, Aries. Okay, because they're in a connection with somebody. Or maybe you don't have kids with that person, but they have kids with this other person. There's children involved in this in some way, shape, or form, okay? Somebody has kids, right? So with the Fool card, it's like this person wants to make it seem like, you know, they're very much in love. Um, they are ready to move forward. When in reality, this person is like, they, they got kicked out for cheating for being manipulative, for being the devil. But they're not going to, they don't want you to know. <laughs> you know, they don't want you to know that they got in trouble. They don't want you to know that they're up to their old games. Because I feel like that's what this is. This is like old games. This is a game that this person has been playing for like forever. You know? Yeah. This person's angry. Okay? This person's definitely angry. They're worried. And they're cheating. So they do have another party that they were cheating with. What happened with that party, Spirit? What happened to that party? The person that they were cheating with. So they got caught cheating, eh? What do we have here? We have the Empress and the Tower in reverse. Oh. Somebody might have gotten pregnant. Oh, that might be they lost money because they got somebody pregnant. Okay, this could be for one of you. They got somebody that they were cheating with pregnant. Okay. And that person was like, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So that person wasn't what they seemed to be with the Knight of Blades coming out in reverse. So that person that they got pregnant wasn't what they seemed to be. I don't think this person kept the baby. Okay, now with the Knight of Blades coming out, okay? Because right after the Knight of Blades, we have the Justice card. I just feel like that person, that person did not keep the baby. Or the law came in and took that baby away from that person. So, the person that th this water sign is with at this time, or was with, right? Whoever they, they were maybe married to or living with, Found out that they had a baby with somebody else. And that's why they kicked them out. Ooh. And this is what they don't want you to know about. Okay. But that baby is no longer in the, in the picture anymore. That's what I'm getting. I hope you can see that. That baby is no longer in the picture anymore. I feel like the justice came in and took that baby. Because somebody somebody got in trouble here. With the night of, uh, of blades in, in reverse. Somebody got in trouble. That baby got cut out. Um, I don't think it was an ab uh, abortion. I think that baby was taken away. That's what it looks like. Spirit. Or that baby was given away. Could have been given away or, or taken away. Tell me more. Let's find out. But yeah, that's what they don't want you to know about. There was There's a baby out there. Is this baby still out there? Because I don't feel like that was a, a miscarriage. Of any kind, you know. If it if it was a miscarriage or if that baby was aborted, that that empress would have came out in the reverse, and it didn't. So there's a baby out there. They, they might have given the baby to a church or left it at a church. Okay. That baby was possibly given to a, a church. Okay. Very well could have been a church. Um, That's what I'm getting. So somebody abandoned the baby. So the baby was abandoned at a group 
at a group, maybe a party, could be a party, but that baby was abandoned. Huh. That baby was abandoned and people might have been talking about this baby. You might have heard about this baby. About an abandoned baby. That's what I'm getting. Was possible, you know, like people said, hey, you know, there was an abandoned baby here. It was it was at a church or an organization. That's what I'm getting. Or left at a something like that, like an organization, a church. So this is what this person doesn't want you to know about. Could have been something to do with religion. Huh. Okay, so this is what this person doesn't want you to know about. There is a child here that was abandoned with another party, with somebody else. That's why they've been cut out of that person's will because they were cheating. But this is something that they don't want you to know about, Aries. Okay, so I'm going to put these cards here. They don't want you to know about it, okay? They want you to think that they're innocent. They're not innocent. There's there's stuff here going on. This is becoming more and more of a, um, a personal reading, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish this up right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and get out of it real quick. We have the Three of Wands, okay? And we have the Strength card. It's like this person is getting the strength to look forward okay we have the valley of blades coming out this person is planning things out here they're planning what they're going to say here they might even be wanting to write you a letter okay explaining their side of the story uh especially if you've already heard about this baby or maybe that the ex over there told you something about this baby okay or maybe they think that that person told you about a baby okay we have the Ace of Blades and the Hangman. So this person is going to like try to test the waters by writing you a letter. Okay? They're going to start trying to get this Ace of Blades started with you. Okay? So that's more like uh, they're going to be trying to um, try to get some kind of communication going between the two of you. Okay? Uh, they're going to be trying to sit down and tell you their side. Part of it might be the truth, okay, because according to what I'm seeing here, or they're going to be making it seem like they're telling you the truth, okay? They're going to try to make it seem like the two of you have something solid. They might even try to pull you into their problems here, okay? Uh, try to make it seem like their problems is your problems or might not even bring up this child to you at all, right? And this way, you won't even realize that this is the beginning of problems with this person because that's what it's showing me. Like, this is going to be the beginning of problems with this person as soon as you let them in your life again, okay? And it's like that person is just going to, they're going to test the waters and then they're going to see how you respond, but at the same time, this letter, they're going to be telling you and talking to you and be like, oh, you know, this was a great love. You and I had this great love. Be ready for it. I mean, that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing here. Be ready for it. So this water sign is used to getting their way. OK, this water sign is very much used to getting their way. Uh, you know, having their way, being manipulative, but not anymore. I want you to know with the Four of Pentacles coming out, right underneath, right over the Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups, it's like this person is very, I mean, so manipulative here. Like they're planning to manipulate your emotions there. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm gonna look at the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Swords. Be careful with that. With the Eight of Coins. It's like they're working at, at this 
okay, and then the sun. They're expecting, like, they're expecting this great thing to come out in their favor here, okay? They're expecting it. But right now, they know that they need to get their finances in order in order to be able to come towards you. Like, to they, they want to make up, they're making a whole new persona. That's what I'm hearing. Like, they are making a whole new identity, Aries, so they could pull you in. They want you to think that they've changed. They want to be this. This, this could be a father figure, okay? Um, but this is like somebody who's very, very in control of their life. Like they take care of their home. They take care of their house. They, you know, this is a a, a person who's in charge of themselves, their business. They take care of their finances. Like This is somebody who takes care of their children. This is somebody who has learned, you know, been through a lot of lessons in life, and they have learned from those lessons. They have matured. This is how this person wants you to see them. And this is what this person is working toward. Like, don't get me wrong. This person is working toward straightening out their life, but the way that they're doing it is just so, it's just bad. I mean, it's just not the way to do things, right? I mean, the way that they're doing it is just all backwards. Especially with the Ten of Swords coming out here, it's like, I mean, I feel like this person is trying, like they're trying to get out of some kind of mental, like a, a mentally challenging period in their life. So this ordeal that they went through, I, I could see it. I mean, it was mentally challenging for them, you know? That chapter had to end for them to be able to focus on what they want in life. So there is a good chance that this person is learning from their mistakes. That's that's the truth. There's a good chance that this person is definitely learning from their mistakes. Okay. Um, maybe even trying to uh, overcome addictions that they've had, like sexual addictions might be one of them. You know, people who have, um, you know, they have sexual addictions, they tend to go out there and cheat a lot, right? They can't help themselves. I, I feel like this breakup from this female, the one that they are getting cut out of her will, okay? It seems like that really affected them, and now this person's trying to get grounded. Okay, especially with the eight of coins coming out, it makes me feel like this person is really focused on getting their act together. Okay, like this person is trying their best to get their act together by being very dedicated to getting their act together. Especially with the sun card coming out, it's like they're hoping for this this happy ending. You know, they really are. But the but the thing is is that this person is not really being forthcoming. I don't feel like this person wants to be forthcoming about that baby. But something with the sun card coming out, something might be coming out to you. So this person might be contemplating telling you the truth. Okay? There's a good chance that this person is contemplating telling you the truth, but they might um not want to tell it to you to your face, you know. I feel like this person is going to end up trying to write you a letter, okay, to tell you they're contemplating this, you know, like how do I explain this situation to Aries? This ordeal, because they're they're very scared that 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 privileged lady told you or you already know about it, okay, about that baby. That's what I'm hearing. All right, Aries, I'm going to go ahead and get out of this because it is like it's making me feel like a, it's a personal reading. But I will go ahead and post it because I know this is definitely for maybe one or two of you here. So I'm going to go ahead and post it anyways because uh, obviously I'm picking up on somebody's energy here, okay? And Spirit wants you to know what's going on behind the scenes, like, you know, what's really going on with this person, so... But I feel like you're so strong here, Aries, okay? You're a very strong person. You have the strength in you to walk away, to know when to hold them, 
know when to walk away, you know, like that song says, right? All right, Aries, thank you for joining me. I do hope I said something that was helpful. If I did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and catch me in the next one. Bye-bye.